They sure like their fade to white there, don't they? All right, final chapter. Final couple of battles. Let's do this. Let's go in. And by go in, I mean let's skip skip the hell out of these cutscenes. Combs here at the end of the game. If he would have told me that, he'd be in the final party. Don't think I'd have believed you there. And a skill scroll. These are fun. Venice. All right, show me something good here, game. That's what you're gonna get. You already, you already know light magic. That is something sages do. Something sages have. Well, that was that was a waste. As has most of our efforts on you, Ben Innes. But nonetheless, you're still functional at the end here. Not because of your abilities, but mostly because of your teammates and our superior strategy. I like the way we look. I got a lot of dark mages here. Paul should know that dark magic is just not very good. And the Demon King should know that. You saw what happened to Garcia. Alright, I've had enough prattling and prattling about. Let's let's do the deed already. Let's get this done. Let's let's beat a game. Let's conquer a seed. Okay, Garrick's going this way. I think I'd like Eric and Ephraim to go the same direction so they can cheerlead for each other. That's what we're gonna do. I'm pretty sure just these four guys right here could pretty easily dominate that area, but we'll send some more. We'll send you. We have an all-horse back unit here. And Cyrene. This area, this side looks a little stronger, but I think we're good. Fine. All you need is seven more of those and you'll beat Noel. Too bad they only hit you half the time. Stop it. You, you give up a zero hit, you're fast forwarding through. You don't you don't deserve you don't deserve an animation play. See, you just don't do me like that. Flux. Flux. These guys have flux. They sometimes the RNG, even the enemies get screwed out of RNG. That actually happens quite often. A bunch of comb could even really screw with these guys. Let's go ahead and have them do it. Show you how little I respect them. Oh, this has a 32% chance of hitting. Well, that's got a 100% chance of hitting. You actually deserve respect. An extremely necessary crit right there. Not gonna see a whole lot more of those. But we did see another one right there. Well, might as well use these. What are you doing letting Bolting double you? Can't help but think this is better off used later on down the line when the enemies presumably get tougher as we head upward on the map. Alright, we got ourselves a clog here. I think Cyrene can't fix. These monsters aren't very strong. So there are four enemies here, I want four deaths. Garrick is the weakest link here, but he does give us some enough offense to at least get rid of this guy. Now we're just running through him. Let's go doze you up. One use of aura and it's got your name on it. Or not. Or not. Get a little bit closer here. 
Which one of you is more dangerous? It's almost assuredly neither one of you. Noel only wishes he was... 60% crit. He wishes he was a dark mage, like he is in vanilla, but... RNG wasn't having that for him. Viranus, you can help! Power of Christ in his face. I would have been greatly amused if that one hit him. But it didn't, and now he's going to gain a level. A good one. A little too, little too late though, I would say. Well, you gotta hit on him. Actually, wait, that's perfect. We could just get rid of him right now. Well, bad news is he's got a, uh, an anti-horse weapon. Worst news is is that he has a high crit rate. Best news is is that Noel is Noel, and this is what he does. Hey, doesn't hurt to try. more can be said about it, this is why all you need to do is say your name, and everybody knows what's up. Here I am sitting here actually respecting these enemies. Natasha's taken point this whole game. Why should he stop now? Yeah, I thought I moved Ennis a little too close. Well... Oopsie poopsie! I'm not even mad, I'm not even feeling especially remorseful or regretful that Ennis is no longer with us. We didn't need him. He needed us a lot more than we needed him. Carelessly moving into that direction's path, what was he thinking? But he was a homie. There were good things about him for sure. And in that honor, we we'll brought a little liquor for him. There we go. That actually had a non-negligible chance of hitting. You have a, an anti-horse weapon, a Zen bottle. Nice Zen bottle you got there. Guy's defense is a little better than I thought. Alright, that was disappointing, underwhelming. What am I gonna do with that here? The guy's a little bit of a tougher nut to crack than expected. Let's go with this. Want at least two crits here. Oh, this'll do. How did you get no damage there? Why are all these no damage? Is this a cursed unit? That was strange. A very strange exchange there. I've got to see what happens here. Alright, we'll take it. His clarity, and he has this curse here. That's a fun little uh, attribute. All right, 33. You can do 33 damage. I do like the fact that the curses give us and take us away, even to the enemies. That's a pretty good unit to curse, actually. Those big Draco zombies. Christ hits this guy really hard. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna bait him, we're gonna provoke him. Teach that Draco zombie the good news. Very nice. 
Stop. Please, stop embarrassing yourself. Oh. That was a fun crew we've got here. That fun crews are in fact fun. This is what we'll go with. That's why we give her a rune sword, but she's still one hit away from death. The purge, it cometh. What's he got for us? That was... That was a no damage, wasn't it? Oh, when in doubt, chop his head off. It's a risky play, but we'll go for it. I forgot this one's got clarity too. Bolting hits at the 100%. Let's see if the curse hits Garrick back now. It didn't. Oh. I don't oppose this. I oppose that. That's what I oppose. I'm pretty sure that's the end of his bolting too. But I want to say Ephraim can now handle this just fine. No, he can't. Here we go. A little closer than I'd have liked. Still lugging around those steel blades. If the RNG doesn't like doesn't like the Demon King very much, isn't like Lion. That's right. It's like I know Noel isn't the luckiest man on the face of the earth, but that usually happens to you if you if you come at him. What weapons do these great knights have? They're barely even touching him. They're barely even touching him. Now he's gonna get some gains here. By gains, I mean most uninspiring level up. Oh, look at this. Fun strategy. You landed to 30. Alright, let's go take a quick look at these enemies who just popped up right here. Don't need to, but we will. Not terrible, but nothing worth being afraid of. I think Natasha just can't solo. I might just have her solo it just to do it. Alright. The running in place crit. That was a, another completely necessary crit. You'd expect Mary to get a lot of them being a berserker and all. Your stats look just about matched, maxed out, rather. Nice, that's going to help. It helps a lot. Cool. Entirely necessary crits. I wonder what percentage of Joshua's crits have been of the entirely necessary variety. Look at Ephraim holding the line. He's still got plenty of gas in the tank. Let's get rid of you right now. You didn't... Did you land a... Yeah, you did land a crit on Ephraim. You had to have. How else could you have... How else could you be that low? First we kill them all, then we heal. The rune sword was the right sword to use there, but not a big deal. Alright. Doze with the medical treatments there. Running in place move, the running in place move. Fun fact. Running in place makes your attack three times stronger. Dude, Garrick's numbers aren't impressive by any stretch, but he's very functional. I mean, his HP is impressive. He's, I guess, at the Mage Knight, that was the best, best thing for him to do. Oh, 
Oh, somebody hit Mir. Luckily, Mir hits back much harder. I wanted him to stay alive for the whole battle, the whole game. Unfortunately, luck wasn't in Noel's favor. Oh well. We gotta move on. Noel, we loved you. You were gloomy, you were dark, you were you had to have seen some seen some stuff in your day. Seen some things too. We might have even gone so far and seen some shit in your day. That's why you are the way you are. Would have been cool to have you survive. Unfortunately, your bad luck caught up to you. You were a homie. A true homie. And in that honor, let's pour a little liquor out for you. Operation Avenge Knoll is upon us. Cool. I just want that Swordmaster out of there. I, the first thing I'm going to do is bury some hurt into his face. You get to do it here. 59 damage. That was satisfying. Felt good. Time for some healing. We know how this will turn out. So we give Calm a hit here. If you if this for some reason fails and it didn't, we would have given that to Calm. She gonna run in place twice. Let's see. She is. All right. Respect that. That got him a bit. He's gonna. Oh, I was gonna say he's got. He might double attack you, and then he might just finish his job right here. He is. These times when the en when the enemy just sits there and thinks it's very tension filled. I'm almost tempted to run in here and just go take these guys right now. I find it odd how he has such a hard time hitting that huge target. You can solo this part because why not? Very nice, okay. Let's check out this one here. I want to say this is the A support. Free of conflict, huh? No, we're just about to turn a new one. Beautiful. And now let's let's do a little killing. Let's see what happens here. Sweet dodge, Mir. Oh, you didn't double. Sala's got swag just standing right in front of him. Our Christ compels, bitch.
Let's go for it. Boom. Ephraim's not afraid of nothing. Probably be helpful for him to, uh... Helpful for Ephraim to be a little bit more afraid. It's like, lion, man, why you... This is gonna be a win, isn't it? These are gonna be some tepid gains, because you're maxed out. And you still, it's still a non-negligible level up. That about enough out of you. Cool. Let's go check out the numbers here. Only 54 HP drop Ravager for us. That was, that's nice of you. Well, let's uh... You win instantly. <laughs> We don't even need to bother with worrying about anything else. Just have Erica go up and do this. Even if I said hits her, it's like, eh, you know, whatever. And that, my friends, is GG. It's good to have a strong main character. I got a Ravager. So check it out here. I wonder if one of your characters can be randomized into the Demon King. I very much doubt it. Let's check out this cutscene here. I know we had a lot of guys die. So let's see who shows up here. But Rachel and it showed up. You guys shouldn't even be here. You're welcome. <laughs> I know, I know if, um, you know, you have characters like Gilliam and Mulder, I know they talk with one another. They're, uh, let's see, there are other characters you talk with, they're all dead. And then we fade to black. They'll be fine, let's see. Oh, see I know you still see Marissa in one of these, I want to see if she'll just going to appear in one of these drawings here at the end. And we got all, uh, Renak is dead, yeah, that's... That drawing appeared in spite of that fact. That's... Is that Ephraim? Got Kylan Ford there. Seth. Virtually every character we got in the early game died. Um, Combs survived, obviously. Like in, the, in those early battles... Oh, look, there's a... Uh, I can't even remember. I think it's looking at it. Oh, there's Marissa. Could have had her in there. Oh, well. Garrick had that. I still remember Garrick tossing that magic at Marissa. Like some magic tossing asshole. But if you think about it, like, Seth retired. Gilliam died. Franz died. Mulder died. Vanessa died. Niami died. Uh, Garcia died. Who is that? Kid Ross died. Essentially all the first dozen characters for us died. The first dozen we got. We got a nice little team there at the end. Not complaining about that for a second. He doesn't get any interesting. Yeah, he, Seth deserves no interesting captain at the end. Uh, Gilliam, he was, he was a. Uh... Gilliam was a Starwalt in the early game, a stalwart. Victims of War was a tough one. Silver's Rogue. I took the right path making the rogue, it's not an assassin. Artur died, loot died. Victims of War, that was a big one. I think I'm trying to remember that battle. I must say, that was one where there was fog, and you're attacked on all sides by enemies. Man, Natasha was. Natasha and Joshua were true. They were true. They were. They were, both, they were both gold standard, I say. Not that gold standard, very good. They were no Erica, but then again, who is? Tana. 
of course. Serene, she, uh, she, she rocked it there. Provided us with some later game, a nice later game surge there. Yep, she, Amelia had some potential, she was, she was good there. I think she died with, at a crit. What a time to die at the very last battle. It's a shame. That's the best way to survive to the end of Fire Emblem is to not be a good unit. That's the easiest way to do it. Cornag is not a good unit, but he still has some use. Oh, the Rachel, she should have been great, but I want to say that she got hit by a 48 percent. Bolza was a cool guy. Ah, uh, Renek. We can only imagine what could have been with you. You might say, um, Derek should have probably paired up with somebody. Maybe Petty's here. But Petty's was terrible, so we didn't. So, Derek is going to have to settle for that cryptic ending he got there. Again, he's one of the best ways to survive Fire Emblem. To be terrible. As Ewan was in this particular seat for this run. Well of Wisdom, that's a, that is a memorable subtitle, titled F to oneself. Yeah, Mira, she, she rocked it, she was worth, she was definitely worth training. Ephraim, I mean, he got two promotions, so he'd better be at least decent. And he was. And he was. Alright, let's enjoy this screen for a few more seconds. Before we bid this edition out of you. Alright, everybody, see you all in the next seed.